Hello and welcome to An Honest Review with Jeff Ahern. This week it is Super Bowl spots. When a 30-second Super Bowl spot costs you $7 million, you better make it count. Some did, some didn't. So here's an honest review of the best and worst Super Bowl commercials for 2023. Let's start with my favorite, Breaking Bad Popcorner Edition. It was the only one that made me laugh out loud. We've got six signature flavor choices. You make seven! still laugh at it. Another one of my favorites was Dunkin' Donuts, which finds Ben Affleck working at a Dunkin' Donut drive-thru. I guess he took Matt Damon's crypto advice from last year's Super Bowl. And holy cow, did J-Lo look smoking hot in it. Bradley Cooper and his mom's T-Mobile spot was cute, but since I get him confused all the time with Ryan Reynolds, it was almost like a mint mobile spot instead. Hey, they got a free commercial out of the deal. Not the full $7 million, but a good $1.5. Steve Martin and Ben Stiller's Pepsi commercial was great, too. I'm a sucker for Steve Martin anyway, but the back-and-forth barbs between him and Ben Stiller were just great. Plus, I love anything that includes Rachel Drotch. There were a lot of weird spots. There was the Deion Sanders family selling Greek yogurt that I guess is filled with steroids. Xfinity had an ad where a group of Zs or millennials watched some astronauts being murdered with all the interest in what's happening as I do and, well, Xfinity. Pringles hand stuck commercials uh, beg the question, how stupid do you think your customers are uh, that they can't, can't tilt the can like, like this to get the last, last Pringle out? Get that uh, Cobby guy on the case from uh, TikTok. The Doritos Triangle thing was all right, but honestly, I like when they let fans come up with the commercials better. They're just, they were just cooler. The Bush beer spot, I had to Google. Like, I only had vague memories of Sarah McLaughlin's reference, so I had to try and reverse engineer the funny. I should not have to reverse engineer the funny. You bring it to me on a platter. This is the Super Bowl after all. Either way, now I uh, associate bush beer with abused animals, or at a minimum, the people who drink it <laughs> with abused animals. There's a weird Budweiser spot that followed a warm six pack around all day. Hey, this last Bud's for you, and it's the warmest one of the bunch. But it was still better than Miles Teller dancing to hold music, drinking beer. Couldn't even tell you what beer it was because all I could think was, this can't be the whole commercial. Kevin Hart tried to get you to gamble on DraftKings. How do I know DraftKings is a bad idea? Where do you think they got all the money to have so many A-list celebrities in their commercial? You, yeah, degenerate gambler. Brie Larson and John Hamm's Hellman's Mayonnaise commercial, that didn't need to happen, okay? Pete Davidson's there too, and he eats them, but then they're still standing there. The commercial was already stupid, and now you're going to add plot holes? I mean, just just stop. Kylo Ren went full Agent Smith for a Squarespace ad. That one actually worked because I remembered the commercial, uh, what it was actually for. You know, it was for Squarespace. I remember they built websites. It's the only one that actually worked for me. Plus, it was entertaining. But let's get back to the turds. Uh, the Roast of Mr. Peanuts. Oh my God, roasts have almost become a parody of themselves. So this is actually a parody of a parody of a parody. It's just painful to watch. Even Jeff Ross looks like, what have I become? I couldn't focus on Mr. Peanut at all because all I could see was Jeff's Ross, Jeff Ross's soul dying inside. The worst though was Maya Rudolph's M&M's commercial. I had to watch it a second time just to be sure it was as bad as I thought it was. It was brutal. This woman who almost needed therapy because David Letterman accidentally mispronounced her name slightly, is now telling you to mispronounce M&Ms. You know, it's it's a, <laughs> it's a bit much. Go back to the go back to your unwoke M&M spokes candies, please. Oh, and let's not forget avocados from Mexico. It's hard to get me to yawn for naked people, but somehow you managed to do it.